Welcome to a proof of if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So for given that L and M are parallel and are cut by transversal T, as we see here, we want to prove that angle three and angle five are supplementary. So let's outline a strategy before we start. We know from the corresponding angle postulate that angle one and angle five are congruent. We also know that angle three and angle one form a linear pair, which means they're supplementary, and the sum of their measures would be 180 degrees. So if we show that the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees, and angle one is congruent to angle five, which means their measures are equal, we should be able to perform substitution to show that three and five are supplementary. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start by stating the given information that L is parallel to M with transversal T. That's given. Number two, we know that angle one is congruent to angle five by the corresponding angle postulate. If they're congruent, that means their measures are equal. So we can say the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle five. This is by definition of congruent angles. Now let's go ahead and tie in angle one and angle three. We know that angle three and angle one are supplementary. This is by the linear pair postulate. They're supplementary, that means the sum of their measures is equal to 180 degrees. This is by definition of supplementary. Now, if we know that the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees, and we know that the measure of angle one is equal to measure of the angle five, we can perform substitution by replacing the measure of angle one with the measure of angle five. So the measure of angle three plus, again, replacing the measure of angle one with the measure of angle five. This is by the substitution property. And if the sum is equal to 180 degrees, these two angles must be supplementary, which is what we're trying to prove. And the reason is definition of supplementary angles. And that'll do it for this proof. Now I do want to point out that since we just proved the theorem about alternate interior angles being congruent, we could have tied in angles three and four and then used the alternate interior angle theorem to connect angle four and angle five. So there's more than one way to prove that alternate interior angles are supplementary. I hope you found this helpful.